guys. Hope you enjoyed that little intro. It was different than what I usually do. I know. If you guys don't know, I'm an ASL learner, American Sign Language learner, and I thought that that would be really cool because this video is coming out, I think, like in two weeks from when I actually filmed it, and today is a part of the week of deaf awareness, so I thought that would be pretty cool to start the video off with that. Anyway, so today's video is a very, very special video. It is a collab that I am doing with my good friends, Rowan and Mina. The Disney Damsels. I'm super duper excited for this. We've been waiting for this for so long and I've never done anything like this before and I'm just really, really super excited. So basically what we are doing is we are doing the Disney Halloween tag, which uh, they already kind of did like a year ago, but we've kind of changed it a little bit because it is a collab and we actually came up with the questions ourselves. So since we came up with the questions ourselves, I'm probably going to tag people at the end of this video. Basically some of the questions are Disney related, some of them are not. Their channel will be linked in the description below so you can go subscribe to them. They're amazing. They just hit 700 subscribers which is so awesome congratulations guys they are the sweetest people so you won't regret it they make such amazing videos and really great vlogs even though they don't like to admit it <laughs> you can see their side and how they answer differently to the questions than I did and yeah let's just get right into it all right so I think that I'm gonna start with their list because these are the non Disney questions and then all mine are Disney related I think so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. The first thing that they asked was, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? And in general Halloween party, if we're talking Disney here, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party by far. If we're just talking in general, probably trick-or-treating because number one, candy. I'm not, this is not good to say, but I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween, specifically because I hate getting scared and like, now that I have anxiety and stuff, like just going out and trick-or-treating makes me nervous, but also so does going to a party. So I guess rather, I'd rather trick-or-treating. I don't, I guess I don't hate Halloween. It's just not my favorite. I do like, you know, fall and like dressing up and stuff like that. So I guess I don't hate it. How old were you when you, when you watched your first scary movie? Probably old. I don't really know. Maybe 13. I really don't know because I don't watch them very often. I don't even think I've seen an entire scary movie combined. Like all of it because we watched the shark movie. I don't remember what it was called. It wasn't Jaws or anything. Not that long ago, like a year or two ago. But I didn't watch it all the way through. I don't really know. That's a good question, but I don't watch horror movies. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Oh god. Well, thrillers because I can't do blood and gore, so probably thrillers. Which urban legends scare you the most? Well, I don't know. Because, like, I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't really even know that I know what an urban legend is. If it's what I'm thinking it is, I don't necessarily believe in ghosts and, like, haunting and spirits and stuff like that. So, like, I don't pay attention to those. I don't know if necessarily creepypasta is considered an urban legend. I don't know what it's considered. But as far as scary theories and myths and stuff goes, that would be ha would have to be what scares me the most. There was a girl, and she was very sweet, that went uh, to middle school with me. And she used to swear that she was a creepypasta. And I was just such a naive little girl. Like, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Like, I believe in, like, God. And, like, I don't believe in all the demonic stuff. I just, that's just not how I am. But she believed, I don't know if she still does, but believed that she was a creepypasta. And, you know, what she was. She said she was going to make me one. She, and I was like, alright, well, how do you make me one? Like, I was just kind of playing along because I didn't want to be rude. And she was like, oh, I'll just come to your house in the middle of the night and kill you. And I was like please, please don't. And I was like, okay, well, I don't even, she doesn't even know where I live, so that's not gonna happen. And so I got home, and I just, right before bed, I got terrified, and I was like, crying. I was so upset. I don't even remember how old I was. I probably like sixth or seventh grade. I was just so upset. I was just really nervous. So I stayed up for like a really long time and I eventually fell asleep and I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm fine. And I like, for two split seconds, I think that I wondered if I was a creepypasta. I don't know. It was weird. I was a weird kid. And then I went to school the next day. I said, I, I, I'm not dead. She goes, oh, I came. And I was like, okay. What's the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you? Probably that creepypasta story. I don't know if there's anything creepier than that. I mean, I get creeped out over like the littlest stupid things. So a lot of things are creepy that happen to me. Oh, this is kind of creepy. One time we were at my mom's and someone left the apartment door open and we were gone for several, several hours and we were terrified that somebody was in there. I don't really know what else, but... Do you get scared easily? Uh, yes. <laughs> like, you can literally just... I don't even know. I just get so scared so easily. I refuse haunted houses. I refuse horror movies. I refuse... Like, the other day my dad tried to show me this thing on Facebook and I don't know what it ended up being, but it was this... I don't know what it was, but it seemed sketchy to me and I went, I'm not watching it, it's gonna be scary, and he goes, 
really? How do you know? Are you sure? But he was like kind of sarcastic about it. I'm like, yep, I know. I'm smart. I've fallen for these things before and I'm not getting scared again. I hate being scared. It's like, I hate it so much. I even refuse like freaking childish haunted houses that aren't even scary like my mom dragged me in one one time i was i was terrified and it wasn't bad it was so fake and there was like winnie the pooh's in there and stuff and i was still like get me out of here get me out of here get me out of here i just can't do it can't do it if you got trapped in a scary movie which movie would you choose and why oh my god well first of all i haven't seen many so i can't choose i don't i i would probably not last very long in a scary movie Probably The Shallows, I think, is what that shark movie was called that I was referring to. I don't know that one. Because that's like the only scary movie that I've seen and I remember. That's it for their questions. Their Halloween questions are very good questions. Sparked up seven and a half minutes of conversation. Now mine, which are kind of cut off, so I'm going to do my best, but I know what they say. The first one is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Halloween Horror Nights. And I came up with this question knowing exactly what I was going to answer. And based on my other answers, you already probably know what I'm going to answer. Mickey's Not So Scary. By far. Never been. But I will not do a Halloween Horror Night. Nope. Nope. And ever since I was little, always, like, the state fair here that they have in New York, uh, has every year around Halloween it has like a horror night and there's like this big like clown doorway that you can see from the highway and we used to always ask our parents you know oh what is that like what is that and they'd be like oh it's just a thing for adults and we're like oh we can't wait till we go when we're adults in the end though neither of us want to go so yep I would pick Mickey's Not So Scary which I think I'm going to next fall yay but if you could dress up as any Disney character for Halloween what would you dress up as I don't know I was kind of thinking about that today which is funny that I'm filming this today it's September 21st when I'm filming this by the way just in case you guys wanted to know I, I don't know. I'll answer this two ways. I'll answer this what I want to dress up as and what I think I'm going to dress up as for Mickey's Not So Scary. What I would like to dress up as is I was honestly kind of looking at some Ariel Disney bound, Disney bounding like in her like blue and like black dress with like the bow in her hair. Like I thought, I thought that would be really cute. And as far as Mickey's Not So Scary dressing up goes, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going with a friend. So I'm hoping that she'll be on board to dress up and match or something. I don't know yet. Favorite villain. Hmm. Gaston or the evil queen gaston just because i'm a huge beauty and the beast fan and he's just he's just he's just great and oh and ursula too i, I love that girl ursula because of i just love the little mermaid so 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 much ariel used to be one of my favorite princesses she's still my, one of my favorite princesses but she used to be like my favorite princess but now it's rapunzel and the evil queen I, i've always liked her i haven't been a huge fan of snow white but i became like a really big diehard snow white fan because of Once Upon a Time, so thank you Once Upon a Time. And I connect, when I think of the evil queen, I connect it to Regina in Once Upon a Time, so I'm immediately like, oh my god, Lana Perea, I love her. Same thing with the Wicked Witch, like I don't think Wizard of Oz, I think, Selena, Rebecca Mater, love her. Jack or Sally? I can't come up with this question just because I couldn't come up with anything else. I don't know, probably just Jack. We're just gonna say Jack so I don't sound stupid. Favorite Halloween Disney merch? I don't know what it is. I think it's like a candle holder or something, but there's this thing that I've seen around that's like a pumpkin. It's a Mickey pumpkin. It's got ears on it. I think it's a candle holder. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. And also I'm loving the Halloween ears this year. They're like orange with like black polka dots. So freaking cute. Would you rather Mickey's not so scary or food and wine? I'm gonna have to say Mickey's not so scary because number one, I'm underage, so can't have wine. And number two, I don't really know exactly what goes into food and wine. I love food though, but Mickey's not so scary just seems really fun to me and I'm really, really excited to go. And the last question we have is favorite D Halloween Disney decoration. This question could go either way. It could be in general or in the parks. I'm gonna go with in the parks because I can't think of anything as far as decorations in my house go. So I'm gonna say the little Mickey pumpkin lights that they have on the posts. I have that for a lock screen right now. And I just think that it's so, so cute. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I'm really sad because that video was a lot of fun to film. And I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun to edit. If you want to see more videos with American Sign Language, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do it. Nervous as heck, but happy to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the Disney Damsels. Go watch their version. It's going to be amazing because they're just amazing. And I like their little intro. I just had to put that out there. Like, just love it. So just, I'm not even going to spoil it for you. Just go watch it for yourself. Um, so subscribe to them. It is almost October, which means that it is almost one month countdown until Disney Dreamers Academy applications close. Guys, this is insane. I'm getting nervous because <laughs> I'll find out in November or December if I get accepted. I feel like I was like, oh, this is so far away, but time's already flying. It's almost been three months since I've applied. Like, 
that is that is insane to me so please keep praying that I'm accepted because there still is time for them to pick me to be accepted I pray every single night before I go to bed because I just want to be accepted so so badly because this is a really amazing opportunity and honestly like I think I've said before if it wasn't in the parks I'd still be okay with it it's just an amazing opportunity and I want to go for all the right reasons and I really really hope that even if it's not me the class of 2018 for the Disney Dreamers Academy are kids that want to be there for the right reasons and not kids who just want to experience the parks so please pray for me to be accepted follow me on Instagram at Aubrey of Arendelle sorry I didn't have any Halloween ears or anything to wear I wore my new pink hat it's from Burlington thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video which I've got a couple plans so stay tuned bye